Hey everyone, my name is Mitch Dyer. I am joined by Alana Pierce. Hello. Hello. We are going to play Quantum Break. Yeah, I'm really excited about this. I've seen almost nothing. Really? Okay, yeah. so this is the second act. This is after the first episode of the TV show. Let's talk about the dry uh, incident. Let's, let's be quiet Monarch for the cutscene. Mm -hmm. It's very important. from the university to the ground zero operation. It's also actually probably going to be incomprehensible because there's oh. time travel nonsense going on. Okay. Unconscious. Whatever. Well, they'll, they'll try. Uh, the recurring thought that runs through my mind as I play this game is, <laughs> man, it looks expensive. <laughs> it is so Lee good looking. Lee went to retrieve you. Yeah. Gone. I'm uh, already gone. impressed by his facial expression. Yeah, totally. And it's it's funny. This is actually a direct continuation of something you see in the first TV show. Right. Like, this is the exact scene. So it has like it has like 30 minute clips of live action yes. TV shows, right? Yes. And this, this event happened in the TV show. Mm hmm Minus the actual, oh, the time has stopped and Jack Joyce is going to do stuff. Uh, what huh. you end up seeing from Beth and Liam's perspective, the two characters outside the van, is like, time freezes and they just, they, time comes back and they just don't have guns. Ooh. Spoilers, okay, so now you're Jack playing out what happened in... Exactly. Wow, that's really cool. Huh. We know Beth Wilder assisted you in some manner. Then, I'm guessing you know the rest. I have a lot of questions. Already. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, how did he get this power? Uh, spoilers. That's actually, uh, we can't talk about how he got the power. Yeah, we probably should. And we shouldn't anyway, because it's interesting, and it's, uh, it's a very cool beginning to the game. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. Yeah, and that transition is super slick. Wow. That visual effect on the ground looks really cool. Everything about this is just Damn. Really, really, really pretty. Uh, god, it's so pretty. This yeah. is, like, stressing me out a little bit. Like, <laughs> what? I can't take it. How? So right now, you did you pause time or did it just pause? It pauses time. It? it is it's a scripted thing, and these are called stutters. Oh, when time wow. is totally frozen, like this, and it goes all blue, and time's back. Only right. Forward. So you get like a visual cue, and I guess that there was audio as well that tells you. So we have a destructible object. We have a gun. Puzzle solving. Ooh. Uh, That's that, next gen. Huh? Yeah. Truly next gen. <laughs> You, yeah, do you hate crates as much as I do? <laughs> uh, so that actually ended up causing a pretty significant problem for us. Well, that's weird. Thankfully, Jack Joyce is a time man. The chrono man, as I like to call him. Uh, huh. and this, is, this is actually introducing you to a new power, which is uh, pretty rare at this stage in the game, because you kind of have all your skills at this point. Uh, hmm. So that thing is there, and if I were to try to jump across, I'd probably get crushed. Because it's gonna fall anyway, yeah, we go. right? So because you, you already one. did it, yeah. so it's like, is it looping okay. what you've right. done? Huh? So you just need to go back further, or right? So we I can go back all the way. This is as far back as I can go, and I can maybe give it Unstable. one. Uh, Move real quick. I just run. Uh, I, I thought I might. Oh, oh jeez! You really messed that up. I did. Listen, running. I'm glad that you could do that though. Like you know how sometimes games are too lenient with ledges. Yeah, yeah. I like being able to fall off a ledge, you know. Well, like, it just is an invisible wall. You just can't. Yeah. I'm a fan of that. Go, uh, go, go. Uh, go. Okay, yeah. I thought I might need to actually uh, freeze it in the air like, with this uh, AOE time stoppage thing. Oh, damn, that's cool. That's like yeah. uh, that goddamn that gun from Quake. The oh. uh, antimatter gun. Yes. It made that I like a right. big ball, and it made the sound. It's like, Doof. Except this thing stops time. Uh, and we'll get into that when we get to some combat a little bit. Um, so yeah, so what, what genre of game is this? Like, obviously it's very narrative heavy, but you it's, say it like... It's definitely an action game. Like, there's an a lot game. of action sequences. I was kind of, like, based on that, was expecting it to be, like, a puzzle game, but... There's a bit of it. Like, there's some minor platforming, puzzle-solving stuff, but by and large mm -hmm. it's all about, like, hey, get the cool guns and shoot the scary dudes. Mm -hmm. I couldn't escape what had happened. Uh, what this room did. in particular is kind of like, hey, guess what's coming up? Get this assault mind. rifle, mm -hmm. get this ammo. Wait, I feel like we're missing dramatic dialogue right we now. We probably are. Uh, but also, just... it's kind of nice to gloss over spoilers. Yeah. Because I, I think I'm, I will play this. Like, I, I saw it when they announced it, and I haven't seen much gameplay really at all. That's I, like, somehow avoided it. That's impossible. I don't know how you did it, yeah. but good job. Uh, okay, here we go. So this is the first big combat area. This is after the first chapter, and you kind of have all of your skills at this point. Uh, so this looks so very uncharted. A little bit, yeah, except the, uh, the cover huh. is a little more natural. Like, he just kind of tucks into whatever you have there. So you don't have to, like, press a button. He just does it? Right. Like, and you can just kind of nice. run over, and he goes naturally. Oh, I like that. That's good. Uh, okay, so I know there's some dudes over here. 
probably Can you play it like a stealth game? You no, know, because you don't really have silencers or anything, so you just kind of got to go for it. Stop time. Damn, that's put a couple cool. Bullets into that guy. Oh, man. Yeah, because time is stopped on him, uh, and you put bullets into him, they all explode at once, and now he's down. That's uh, great. I've also got the, on the left bumper, I've got this little time dash, which lets me slow time when I Just aim a little? afterwards. Does that stuff run out and, and recharge? It's, it's, oh, that's is that on your right? Yeah, so that's on cooldowns. I see. Uh, the spear gives me a bit of health. I am currently being shot from behind. Can you upgrade those? Yes. So uh -huh. if we go into... Here's the upgrade. So you can see right out of the gate everything you can you can unlock here. That's really cool. So yeah. you do you do it by what XP? Like how does that? There are collectibles and they 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 start introducing them in this chapter where it's like you hit your Y button to turn on this time vision. Mm -hmm. And oh my god, that, the sound quick. is really nice. Definitely. It's like a Michael Bay down. movie. Uh, can this fall down? Looks like it. Nah, no use. Nobody there. No 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 no. Try to get a weapon grenade. Uh, so, do they have weapons that counteract the fact that you are a time lord? Not at the moment. Like they're just kind of regular soldier mans. Uh -huh. uh, they can't regular really soldier mans, right I now. believe, is the technical term. My mistake. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Heavy pistol. I like this thing a lot because uh, it's really good for letting you kind of just like bounce into a man, put oh a single my shot God, into him. Cool. Cool. Yeah. How do you feel about like weapon variety? It's not the, the combat looks fine. I love the combat. You really the like combat it? Is, yeah, it's combat. It's, is I mean, it's hard to say because of the way that it looks doesn't isn't actually that telling. I feel like, oh my god, that's very cool. Did you just die? No, I uh, killed the last guy, and I happen oh. to be in this weird time bubble thing, which just has a crazy visual effect. And that's there it goes. So cool. Yeah. This so is so different to all other things. And kind of what I was expecting for the game. The opposite of what I was expecting, I mean. Because... I was expecting it to be there we go. I guess almost Life is Strangey. Where really? the time control was only where it was narratively convenient, rather than No, it's than like super combat. important to the combat. That's yeah. great. Uh, so you can... Like, the way I was using the right bumper stuff, which is that Hello? AoE bubble that freezes yeah. people. Yeah. Like, you can use that to stack bullets by putting a bunch of bullets into guys. Uh, sorry, so I'm cool. trying to remember what I need to do. Uh, you can do that, or you can use it to sort of isolate a target that's like, oh, you're a heavy guy, you're scary, I'm going to freeze you in time mm -hmm. and take care of the guys around you while you're not able to actually do anything to me. Right. That's awesome. Okay. The voice acting seems alright, too. Yeah, and the character that is actually talking to him right now is, uh, she's only here because she didn't die in the TV show based huh. on choices I made as the villain before the TV show. So each Ooh. chapter, it rolls through, and it's like, okay, play as Jack Joyce the good guy, play as Paul Serene the bad guy, watch the TV show. And that's the structure of the game. So they filmed, like, several different components of the TV show depending yeah, on the decisions like you make? Yeah, news broadcasts are different, the things oh, people wow. are talking about, the motivations of villains are different. All Man. that stuff it varies based on what you decide to do. What was oh, the budget of this game? This is eerie. Yeah, you uh, walking over dead bodies? Probably $10 trillion. Disrespectful. Ten whole trillion? <laughs> it's pretty expensive. I recognize the place. Yeah, like just look at this game. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's so good. Uh, yeah, but I just I'm really really impressed with the combat. And even though the AI, like that last battle you saw, like they're not amazingly it's smart, fine. but it's fine. Yeah, like I I think they're they're fun enough to fight that I don't need them to be super geniuses. Yeah, is it hard? It gets hard uh, later on, probably, if, mm -hmm. uh, if we were allowed to talk about it. Maybe we could talk <laughs> maybe it would get hard. what that might be like. <laughs> Who uh, knows? <laughs> yeah, it, it's, you see early on, like, they start introducing very slowly new enemy types. Uh, and it's kind of, they just kind of make it like you're a cat in their mouth. Like, they're your plaything. So you right. can get used to all of your powers. Mm -hmm. Is it the firing pin again? I think so. What was, that? was that a cutscene? Yes, I that couldn't, was. Uh, I couldn't even tell. That was not. Okay, so I'm just gonna freeze time on those guys. Put a bullet in that man. Put a couple bullets in that man. So it doesn't show you that they're dead yet because the bullets haven't made it yet. Oh, exactly. Love it. And then the bullets all hit them. Excellent. At once. And I think it's like some super kinda, hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and so great. I think there's some kind of damage modifier to it. You're the taxi guy. Oh, perfect. There we go. Okay. Me the universe. I lied to you earlier. Mm -hmm. I said what the girl I was talking to was the TV show character. Mm -hmm. She's dead. So instead, you get this cab driver who you had the, in the very Jesus. beginning. Huh. This is the other Save choice that right. I made the first right. time through. So now my second time through, I have a totally so different character with me. Oh, interesting. So I, I actually, I never saw this guy uh, after the beginning chapter. And now. I wonder how deep Look. that gets. 
So do I. Need to get to the dry docks. And I actually do don't know. Dry docks. Uh, Let's take a look. Some some dead people. Fuckers. Beautiful. Whatever you need. Keep fighting. Oh yeah. See, that's her. That's the girl that you oh. would have had otherwise. That's, oh, that's huh. really sad. Rest in peace, Amy. Up my spine to think I might Rest in peace. We're not here to talk about Amy Ferrero. All right, guns. I don't need. Uh, you can hit these laptops, and they give you kind of like, they're they're collectibles, right? Like you get X it's out of just X. Like this game's alternative to audio diaries. Or yeah, whatever. pretty much. Man, it's pretty. Oh God! Every time it, yeah, it shots like these are just super impressive. The mm -hmm. to get to the dry docks. All right, so we're get, trying to get to the villain. He's at the dry docks. We're uh, moseying through, and this is sort of a non-combative area right now. Like we mm -hmm. were talking about, little bits of puzzle solving. Yeah, this Thanks, is where that really comes okay. into play. So, what about that this dude's gonna to see at the campus? pop over here and be like, "Oh, this gate's locked." Mm -hmm. Spoilers for the scene that uh, no. is playing out. Not exactly. And we got to figure out a way to this open this gate man. using time powers. I'm very interested to, to see how this works. This. Yeah, locked. I'm uh, I'm really enjoying this. I this is like, I don't know. I'm normally not all about exclusivity, but if you have an Xbox. This is really going to make you happy that you have an Xbox. Yeah. They will. It's going to close before you can get out there. Bop, bop. Nice. Yeah, surprise. If only I had some form of time stopping powers. <laughs> that would do it. So that Not necessarily. That one does that just isolate the gate? Oh, <laughs> just in time. There we go. What are you, some kind of goddamn X-Man? <laughs> I was going to make that joke. There was an X-Man okay. joke. I was going to make that joke. That's a good joke. Like, some <laughs> kind of X-Man. <laughs> I like that. That's very cool. That's uh, that's very that's cute. infamous slash prototype. Uh, yeah, it's just like that's your time dodge. That's literally what it's called. Uh, you can use it to evade like that. Cool. You can use it to get from cover to cover. You can use it to charge guys. So... You have these different skills, and especially as you upgrade them, they become more useful. Mm -hmm. Did they tell you what's going on here? Uh, just because they're multi-purpose. I only know what my brother told me. Time uh, is breaking down, and Monarch is involved. Can so I get in? It's locked. Locked. Okay. It's locked. Okay. So this is where the puzzle-solving stuff really comes into play. Looks like there's an open Whoops. So this is kind of just like environmental puzzle solving. Does all of it use shot. time stuff too? Wait here, Not we'll necessarily. Like there's some stuff like this where it's very platforming. The, the heavy. platforming actually looks really good. It can be. It's not always. Not always, no. Uh, there are moments where you jump. You're like, I should have grabbed that ledge, but you right. Don't. But this is like, this is a lot of components for one game to have. Totally, yeah. Um, I think I can make it over this ledge. Yeah. Huh. And then, um, my first time through, actually, there was a upgrade token in here. Mm hmm And it's just a little hidden area. You don't have to go over here. You could just go straight to whatever story stuff you need to do, which ends up being uh, way the other direction. So. You have to find all the upgrade stuff. Like, I feel like these environments are intimidatingly large. Like, for you to try and look everywhere here, especially knowing this this platforming. So you it's do, they help you out. Like sometimes when you hit this, you get a little you'll radar see it. that shows you there's something nearby. And 99% of the time, it's a uh, one of the upgrades. Right. Other times you'll hit the pulse and you'll see like, oh, there's a laptop over there or a collectible. And if the, if it's li like a yellowy orange, it's a narrative object. Oh, cool. <laughs> Okay, that, see, there we go. That's it. Right, interesting. So, yeah, I think if I go theory. this way, try to see just what's over here. Oh, there it is! Oh! oh I'm so dumb and bad. <laughs> okay. Okay, that was really dumb. But now we know it's there, and now I can collect that. Is that where you have to go right now? No, that's actually specifically that's an where one? I'm not meant to go. Uh huh. It's out of the way enough that it's like, oh, if I if I go do that, it puts me out of my way. It takes more time. I would have to come back here and do this anyway. You'll right. Uh, okay. So it adds a little bit more time. It's, mm -hmm. but it doesn't ever really feel like padding to me. Like it's, I like the collectible stuff. I like finding secrets. Yeah, me too. And stuff like that in yeah. video games. All right, where am I going? Over this way. We'll ignore the collectible for now. We'll just progress. Yeah. Otherwise, we could get stuck. Just collecting things, yeah, always. Exactly. <laughs> like, there's enough stuff on my second time through that it's like, oh, I could get 100% through on my second time because I missed three narrative objects in this chapter. Uh -huh. I missed an upgrade here and over there. Um, so this, I'm actually not going to let this cheat me. Ooh. But this is a moment where, okay, that's a little rickety. Yep. Chances are that stuff's going to fall, so let's see if we can avoid that. Oh, nice. Oh, wow, this is really cool. Yeah, so this is where you start using your... Oh, oh. Come on, Jack. Go, Jack. <laughs> okay, cool. 
That's really cool. I like that a lot. Yeah, and then when that expires, those last bits will fall. Okay, we made it. We did it. Nice. Good job, everybody. Uh, so now the door downstairs is locked. We'll go in from the top. Made it. Open the door for our taxi friend. Hello, friend. Like how he was knocking like you didn't know he was there. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. Please let me in. Hello? You inside yet? Where are we going to next? Somebody told me that the radios are important. Like, hmm. if you activate them, they have some kind of effect in the TV show. But I don't I don't know if that's true. Hmm. I have not noticed. More emails. And the, email, the emails are, like, long. Are they interesting? <laughs> a lot of time. Some of them are really interesting. And some of them are really hey, Magellan, funny. You want to take a look at the map? Uh, but it's definitely, like, if you're really, really hardcore into it, you'd, you can spend tight. a long time reading these emails. Right. That's the exact area where my brother used to have his workshop. Ghosts? <gasps> Gosp. You think he's okay. To this somehow? I'm gonna find out. Let's find Let's out the secrets. I have a feeling the next part's gonna get messy. I recognize his voice and also his yeah, face. Is I he? Which guy? Uh, the main guy. The main guy? Sean right. Ashmore. He's Iceman. Huh. That's why the X-Men joke is funny. Huh. He's Iceman. Huh. And I Works think, uh, on several levels. Yeah. You've definitely seen him in stuff before. Yeah. Alright, alright, alright. All right, see where we're going here. It's so funny how many games have eagle yeah, vision now. <laughs> everything has the eagle vision. Everything, everything. Shows his face. Cool. All right, we'll uh, we'll knock down some of these guys and call it. Yeah. Okay, cool. So now it's teaching me a new skill. Time blast. This is perfect. So you charge it up. You let it go. Whoa. Everybody's dead. Really? That just killed. Wow. <laughs> I don't know how time did that, but I'm very impressed. Uh, I'm this. Yeah. There we go. And that's. Oh there we go. man, that's Quadruple cool. Kill. I love yeah. the way that Everyone's looks. Everyone's dead. Talk to me. Where am I going? Makes you feel real powerful. Nice. <laughs> cool. Alana, thank you so much for hanging out. We're gonna take a bit of a break. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But we're gonna have a whole lot more for you on Quantum right. Break before it comes out on Xbox One and PC. So for more on Quantum Break, stay tuned to IGN.